where we dig into our crafty stash of older retired papers and we make something fresh and new. This week I'm kind of revamping a project that I made years and years ago when I was on the Graphic 45 design team. And we're using Graphic 45 tags to make these adorable little Thanksgiving pockets. These are perfect for putting on the table, um, giving as a hostess gift, sending to someone you love who's far away, and they're so easy to make. Um, you're gonna love them. This is the collection we're working with, Simple Stories Autumn Splendor. This is from 2019, so I'm betting some of you may still have it in your stash. It is a gorgeous collection. All right, so we'll take a look at these. I've made three of them already. We're gonna make the fourth one together. This is a Graphic 45 large tag, and then you also need that large tag die. And we turn the tag into this box pocket, which is so fun. I've decorated it up with some Prima autumn sunset leaves and flowers, a little fancy pumpkin uh, button, and then these little clips I found actually at World Market on clearance, and they're, they were cute, and they were perfect for Thanksgiving. So inside, we've got a packet of natural honey that I've dressed up with paper scraps. This is a great scrap collection. Uh, some of these little demi-tasse spoons, a pumpkin spice tea bag, Biscoff cookies dressed up in scraps, and then a lint chocolate miniature. And then we make these adorable little tags that tie on at the top. So once these are used up, you can set these out. You know, you can use these multiple times, just refill them from year to year, or send them home with your people after your Thanksgiving feast. And um, I like them. I think they're super cute. So you can see I've got three different ones here. All are basically the same on the inside. The little tags are different. I just took some charms from my stash and I used um, binding rings, little binding rings to put these little charms. There's a turkey and a flower and a leaf. I used stickers from the collection on these tags. The tags are prima. They came in a box of flowers that I've had forever. Here we've got a wishbone and an acorn and a leaf and a little chipboard piece. But you can see I've decorated up the little things. So these are cute. I'm gonna set these aside and I'm gonna show you how to make these. I think you're gonna like it. All right, so bring in your scoring tool. And you can see here that I have cut out the tag liner and Here's the long craft tag. So the first thing you're gonna do is place the tag on your scoring tool so that the rounded end is on the left. And you're going to score this at five and a half and six and a half. And this makes a nice deep pocket. And then while we're doing this, we'll just go ahead, we're gonna cut our tag we're gonna line this up at five and a quarter. The reverse side of this is going to cover the pocket on your tag, so set that aside. You also have two two by two squares of good heavy craft card stock, and put these on your scoring tool and score at a half inch and then at an inch and a half. And I have mine in the center, but um, you know, you can, you just want a half inch score here then go an inch. And these are gonna be the sides of our pocket. So let me get this stuff out of the way. So now we're going to fold this flap up and burnish it down. And we're gonna fold this score line up and burnish it down. And you see this is gonna be our pocket. And then these little sides, we score in like this. And I've kept these pretty simple because if you're like me, you have a pretty good crowd at Thanksgiving. I often have 12 to 13, sometimes even 15. So if you were gonna make one of these for each place at your table, you'd wanna keep it pretty simple. So I put adhesive on that half inch score line. And you can see I'm just lining this up 
to the side of my pocket and you do have to make sure that you're above that score line. Okay. All right, so you see how I've lined this. Now put your adhesive on your other little flaps. You're going to fold this up, and this is the only tricky part. You just want to make sure that you are lined up neat and square. Then come over here, do the same thing on this side, lining up neat and square, and then I come in with a bone folder, and I just burnish everything down. So this would actually be a really fun craft for the kids to do. Um, you could get all your pieces put together assembly line and then turn them loose and let them decorate them how they please. So I'm laying this here and then I'm just going to fold this so that I know where my crease is. I'm going to trim about an eighth of an inch off of this on the bottom because I know that it's a little too deep for the bottom of my pocket. And you see now it's perfect. I'm going to put my adhesive here. So uh, when you're cutting your liners, you want to choose a paper pattern that. Um, you know, like this has a right side up and an upside down, but the back side of it, it doesn't matter because that way this is what works. If you don't have patterns that do that, you have to cut the bottom separately. And you can still do it. I've done that, but it's not as quick. And the whole point of these is that they are super quick and easy to make. All right, so there's our basic pocket. I've got a length of ribbon here. I'm thinking this is probably about eight inches long. Let's see. Nope, it's more like 10 inches. So we're just gonna fold this in half. We're gonna run this through the eyelet on the tag. Pull the tag legs through the loop like this. And then I'm just gonna tie a simple not just to secure that just like this all right that's all we're really going to do there then i've tied a double loop bow with this same brown and ivory or i think it's brown and cream gingham this is three eighths inch brown and cream gingham so our little bow is going to go right there Then I have tied a burlap string bow to go on top of that. And we're just gonna put that down. And now we're gonna add our flower. You see how quick these are? And if you do these assembly line and you have all your uh, parts laid out, you can go really fast. It's amazing how once you know the design or the recipe for a card, you can you can make tracks. So here's my little Thanksgiving turkey. He's gonna go right up here on the pocket, he's so cute. And then I've got these little leaves, these primo leaves. So I'm gonna put them on here. One here. And I don't think I need the orange. I don't think I need the orange. Oops. And I'm gonna put my glue right here. Here's my flower, super quick. Another little string bow. Pop it underneath. And once that glue has set, I'll come back and Bust these loops just a little bit. And then these are little pumpkin buttons that I got from Buttons Galore and more. And these just sit right down here. So cute. 
it. So you can see how kids would really enjoy doing this. Okay, I ended up not using that. Now we're going to make our little tag. So this is just a craft tag. And I took some of my little autumn charms and these findings and just strung these on here. I've got a cornucopia and a pumpkin and an acorn. I'm going to put one end through the tag. And just tie a simple knot. Like that. Then this is a piece of chipboard from the paper collection. I'm just going to peel this off. And I always add additional adhesive on these chipboard stickers because I find that they, uh, the adhesive weakens with age and that just makes sure, like if it gets really hot, sometimes they'll turn loose. If it gets really cold, they'll turn loose. So this just makes sure. I'm gonna come up under my bow cluster and around to the back and tie a little knot. Just like that. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a um, square of paper back here and write your message on the back side if you wanted to. And you can fill these with anything you like. I just like, I'm going to push this over to the side. And I'm going to bring in my goodies. This is a honey packet. And you can find these really just about anywhere. So the way I do these is I just, I took two pieces of scraps. You can see I had to join papers here, but this is a great way to use up your scraps. And we're just barely gonna fit. All right, that's all right, we can fix that. Hold on, yes, there we go. Got this little scrap. So let's do this because we're a little short. Let's, first of all, let's trim this up so it's even. Okay. Let's ink our edges. And let's take a little corner punch. Make that look a little fancy. And then I'm just going to fold this over the top. I'm going to put a little hot glue on the back. Fold this over. A little hot glue right there. Fold that over. And then I'm going to take our little tag that says Fall Days. Isn't that cute? And actually put this down here. And since I've got an extra leaf, we can tuck a leaf in back behind it. Let's see how you dress that up. And now it looks just so special and it's just a little honey packet. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. And then we can actually even take some twine dangle down and that will help hold that honey inside there okay cute 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 and you've got room in this one to tuck your chocolate in too so 
so then this goes in your pouch. How great that works. Then we've got our tea bag, which can go, I'm gonna put that in the back since that little leaf is so cute. And our spoon. Well, let's get our cookies. So we've got our honey, our tea bag, our cookie. Let's put our tea bag, our honey over there because the cookie will fit better on this side. And then our spoon goes in at the back. So there you go, guys. Super quick and easy. Really adorable. A very thoughtful, fun gift. An adorable um, place marker on your holiday, your Thanksgiving table. That is Throwback Thursday for this week. Go ahead and make you a bunch of these and make a whole bunch of people happy. All right, guys, if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Kathy Clement, Kathy by Design. I'm going to go get my craft done. See you next week. Bye.